Well, what can I say? Life's a beach, and here we are at episode four. Also, notice the music changes. They add an instrument every time, it seems. The greatest thing ever. What is up, guys? Mighty Midget here with episode four of Donkey Kong Country. And holy crap, it's been four months since I've played this game. Much like Mario Party 8, much like the games that I've played, it's been four months. And I'm being thrown into it like nothing. Like, yeah, you got this. Just take him down, champ. Good luck. And we're going to just see what happens. My uh, control in this game might be a little bit rusty, but that's all right. We'll be able to fix it over time. We're starting off with Cap Off Live, so I'm not, like, overly disappointed if I die. Because, honestly, with 99 lives, you can't go wrong anywhere. There's very little room for error when you reach the last 10 lives. And I have an extra life. There's very little room for error in other places if you have, like, 5 lives. But with 99, I think we're pretty much set for life. I got a water in one hand, a weird remote in the other hand, and I'm ready to play. Now, I'll have to look up the names of these later, but these red crabs have a name that I can't remember. So I'm just gonna kill them before we have to deal with talking about them. Sweet, oh, they're dead, darn. Grab the puzzle piece, grab the heart, and we continue on our merry way, yes. So my control scheme isn't that rusty, and the ship is broken, oh, damn. I have missed this game, guys, you have no idea. Oh, hey, there's your chest. I have missed this game so much. Don't ask me why, it's just been... I've noticed that when I stopped playing a game for so long, I was like, wow, I should really play that game again too. Similar way with this game, I really feel like I should be playing this game a lot more often. Also, uh, we just, just knocked the whale out of the water, I guess, and then they give us bananas for it, I guess? I don't know. This part I don't understand, I just grabbed the bananas. Not like it helps us anyway, because I capped off my lives already, like I said. But that's where the name Poppin' Planks was coined. <laughs> Continuing on our merry way. I don't know why I keep using that, but it's so much fun to use. Now, to get the... Oh, you gotta be a little bit strategic here. Kill the crab. Use your weight in physics class learning lessons. Yeah, all of those things. Grab that O. Continuing on. Bam. Now, what do I do here, you might be asking? Well, if you're any smarter than the average idiot, just slam on the ground and it knocks it into the water. In Tropical Freeze, I also know that they use like water levels and I really wish they would do that here, except the problem is when I jump in the water here, well, die. So, I'll just jump over that. Terrific. Another puzzle piece, I'm only missing one more and I can see where I need to get my last one. It's in sight, it's in the distance. Go, get it. Shut up. Go! Fun part of this level, I always love to do my typical strategy for these levels. Once the cannon passes, push the two button twice, do it again, do it again. I am missing entirely, this is pathetic. Bam, got it. Last puzzle piece, found it, there we go, alright. Hype, hype, too much hype, oh my lord. And that's the last of the uh, puzzle pieces. All we're missing now is the rest of the Kong letters. I'm actually very surprised that I've been keeping up a 100% walkthrough of this. I don't know how I've been getting it done. It's kind of been like happening out of nowhere, really. So I'll just play it by ear now. You can get these bananas and, uh, hold on. <coughs> Shit. <coughs> that happens. Also, I've learned that my censorship doesn't really need to be on point as much. I figure you guys are mature enough, and I'm also old enough without getting castrated for, you know, saying certain stuff, that I can put, like, the censorship bar off this stuff now. If I, if I curse at one point because I'm just ticked, let that happen. Tell it to me later, like, yo, chill the, <laughs> chill the hell out, bro. Yeah, I will. But I'm just... Lately, I've just been very, like agitated with my gameplay. I lost to my father in a game of Mario Party recently that I wasn't too happy about. And sure, I know that sounds like nothing. Oh, but it's something when you're a gamer. It's just, when you play games avidly, I believe that's a word, when you're an avid player of games, nice. When you're an avid player of games, you just, you get 
very agitated by your win-loss ratio against certain people. My father is one of them, though. Alright, we're gonna continue on here. We got plenty of time. We're gonna get like three levels done, I think. I'm gonna put on some sunglasses. Just kidding, we're inside. Oh, man. I woke up at noon today, guys, so I am... I got plenty of sleep. The problem is I fell asleep at 5 a.m. Couldn't I could not but like me fall asleep. I don't know if anyone else has this trouble, but I just when I try falling asleep, it just doesn't work. Also, as you can see, the first puzzle piece at the very beginning. So that one was self-explanatory. Ow, damn it! <laughs> see, you know what I mean? Like I get so like it's the smallest thing. It's like no, you suck. Oop. Well, like, like I said, I'm at 99 live. I'm not too concerned with my uh, my gameplay. Also, if you want, you can try to collect some one. All right. Never mind. You can't. And I lost my. I lost. I lost my monkey. I'm sad. Now there's a puzzle piece up there. And the way we get is we sit on the edge. We wait for these guys to show up. And pow, pow. There we go. Do it again, just for good measure. Getting past them is not that hard. Hey, Diddy, I missed you. Sorry you died before. <laughs> that was completely unintentional. So during my practice run of this game, I was just running through and that shark ate me. I was pissed. Because oddly enough, after not playing this game for four months, you don't realize where certain things are. So I was just like, whoa, you came out of nowhere, you freaking bomb. So that cheap killed me, honest, but it was in my other file, so I still had 99 lives or something like 89 or something stupid. But I like that this game gets smarter with where it places its uh, with where it places its puzzle pieces. It starts teaching a game, it starts teaching a player through its gameplay, which I guess is standard for like many games, but I think for Donkey Kong Country specifically, it's just a very Smart tactic, and I missed the O. Didn't even touch the ground. Didn't even touch the ground. Oh, wait, hold on. That, that's how you get the end, my bad. Did that jump off a few of those enemies, and I was not ready for that yet. Now, we gotta slam this for endless amounts of time. Blow on this, it's just a bunch of bananas. I don't know how many puzzles, but I think there are seven in this one, so I could be missing a few, and I kind of hope I'm not, because I think I'm doing good so far in terms of that, finding all the puzzle pieces and stuff. I think I'm doing good in that, in that line of work. Oh, you're terrific. You are the best. Oh, round of applause for this guy. Ah! Don't hit me, 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 I'm innocent, I'm innocent. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You got the wrong guy. You got the wrong guy. Calm it down. Let's all be nice and mature about this, shall we? Also, the music is very peaceful. Something called Sloppy Sands. So, ow. Nice job. You are amazing. Uh, I love it. I have missed this game, guys. You have no idea. You are terrific. Why are we failing? <laughs> No, get back here. I am not just waiting for you again, no. I waited plenty of time for you. There we go. I'm only a five out of seven. That's a problem. I'll have to look for those later. I'll look for those off screen guys, I'll let you know what I find, or Actually, huh? Ah, I'm conflicted now. Do I go to Peaceful Pier? So you guys know what's gonna happen here. First, I'm grabbing the key and buying that again. I'm gonna buy squawks 
to help me find puzzle pieces in this one. And then I'll find those other two in uh, Sloppy Sands. Come back with a fistful of banana coins, you don't come back at all. You are a stingy son of a gun, you are. Alright, so we'll move on to Peaceful Pier. Now, Peaceful Pier, I think, is a very simple, easy level, with a basic concept, don't die. Such is the concept for every level, but that's beside the point. So, let's just blast through this, shall we? Man, blow on this guy. Ooh, that sounds appropriate. Cool. <laughs> Throw this, collect my bananas. Peaceful Pier. We're in a rocket, right? The goal is basically just collect every banana you can. I've perfected this level, I believe. I hope I have, otherwise we just suck. The goal is really just don't die. That kind of seems kind of obvious, actually. Now these sharks again trying to attack you, they are actually a minor threat. I don't believe they can touch you. And I don't want to spoil it, but those guys behind us, that's the boss we're dealing with this round. The little porous pinchers, whatever that you want to call them. See, there they are. There's actually only two of them. Whoa, jerk. Bro, take it easy, alright? I don't need none of your sass. Yo, yo. Yo, bros, take it easy. We can be friends. Or maybe not. You guys can just be a bunch of punks. That's cool. We can talk about this. We can talk about friendship for a little here. Let's calm it down, bro. Bro, bro, bro. This is where timing sucks. You gotta just climb up. Grab that. Drop down and grab that. Center yourself so that you don't die. Then this gets really stupid. Here, here, here. Here's a giant ass cannon that we're gonna shoot at you. Have fun. See ya. Bye. Love to talk, but get the hell out of here. And grab the G, and that's how you perfect this level. But we're not done yet, kids. There's still more to do. Slam on this here. Bam! Shut to the right. Why? No idea. And then there's this basic level. Which we're just gonna finish up in record time. Bam! Awesome. Terrific. That's five puzzle pieces. That's the column letters. And in record freaking time. We did it. And that is how you collect 15 bucks of bananas in an instant. Yeah! That was a record time run right there. That was terrific. We are, no pun intended, but blasting through World 2. Now, in the excess of time that we have, because there's never enough of it, we're going to go back to Sloppy Sands. We're going to go to inventory. You guys can feel free to exit now and, like, you know, say bye or whatever. But if you'd like to... We're gonna play with squawks. In the uh, amount of time we have left. If you guys wanna leave this episode now, I assure you it's alright. You can find the two puzzle pieces though with me, that's fine. But let's go find them with squawks, our host. Squawks will just run his mouth whenever we pass something, so. We'll know when we're close to something or not. We're evidently missing two puzzle pieces here, so. And redoing the level is a great way to connect. Squawks, what is it, buddy? Oh! I didn't see you there, son of a gun! Thanks, Squawks. I didn't actually see that there. Ow, I'm dying. Okay, I am dying. I am dying. Okay, whoa, whoa, hey there. Hey now, hey now. Take it easy, Fonzie. I didn't see you there. Yeah, there's the shark again. Not hearing anything from Squawks yet. I'm not hearing anything from him. I'm waiting now. I'm waiting. Oh, 
Ah, oh, you punk, it's this way. I didn't even see that door, you son of a gun. You're slimy, you're... Squawks, I get it, it's here, shut up. <laughs> I get it, shut up. I can wait. Didn't even see that thing. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, you suck. You were there, you punk. Alright, so we're just gonna save right here and die. And do it one more time and get it this time, and then we'll end the episode there. Because then we found all the pieces. I'm gonna need you. Let's go. God, you suck. You had it in the palm of your hand, you hung. Oh, that's a strat. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> I thought it was gonna happen again. I was just lost. It. <laughs> oh, cripes. There we go, seven out of seven. Now we can complete this game in its entirety. So I'll just finish up this level, guys, and then we'll shut it all down. But that's where those last two puzzle pieces were. 100% walkthrough is not dead yet. It will be soon, but it is not dead yet. Now I just get through this in the uh, amount of time that I have. Perfect. No, 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 no. Okay, well. In an effort to do a pro run of this, that didn't work at all. Now did it. I watched a uh, speedrun of this game one day. I'll talk about this next episode. But I watched a speedrun of this one day. Uh, I, for the life of me, I cannot remember his name. But the guy is terrific. I highly recommend watching the DKC 100% walkthrough on AGDQ. That's awesome games done quick. I highly recommend that. I know this is a terrible time for advertising. Don't care if I don't get hit. I don't care. Shut up. And that's how it's done. Banana coin. And also getting those coins and stuff on the end is not that hard. And we already got all the Kong letters. So, that's the end of episode 4, guys. We were some productive sons of guns right there. If you, uh, if you enjoyed it, just so remember to like and subscribe. And as always, guys, remember to stay short and stay awesome. And I'll see you in part 5 we take on Cannon Cluster. Or if you're anywhere close to appropriate, that's a Canon Cluster F, but we'll talk about that later. See you guys next time.